Merry friggin' Christmas. We're going to do a uh, new gun shop video. It's been a long time since we've done that. Uh, got some new stuff. Really good prices, as usual, a double action. As far as gun shops go, in the area or in Pennsylvania, uh, in this part anyway, I don't know anyone that sells brand new firearms cheaper than double action. Um, every time a customer comes in and they go, wow, a brand new Gen 4 Glock for $5.69? They're like, Jesus Christ, the other shop went at like $6.50 for it. I mean, I, I, I hear it over and over and over again. So, I want to show you some new stuff we got. We got a cool new KSG. We got a l bunch of Ruger LCPs. Dirt cheap, man. Uh, that Ruger LCP is, uh, you know, like I said, it's not a range gun. It's not a gun you want to take to the range and put, you know, thousands of rounds through it. But they are extremely reliable. They don't jam. They go bang every time. And they are a emergency gun. They are a nice little pocket gun. It's a better than nothing gun. It's one of those things, you know. You don't feel like holstering up and getting all the shit on. Just want something convenient to carry. Uh, it's it's great. It's great. It's so small, and it's uh, it's really proven the test of time. Everyone I know has them, likes them, and brags about how reliable they are every time they shoot them. Uh, I know many cops and many gun friends of mine, real hardcore gun guys that have them, and you know, just something just to walk out of the house real quick with. Uh, they're, they are good, you know. There it is, and we got them really cheap. So we have those. We have some special edition Kimber 1911s. Really fancy looking ones. Got those. Um, we have the new Sig Sauer P225, which is a really nice feeling gun in the hand. Uh, not sure about its reliability yet. We'll see uh, how it feels to me. It looks to me, it looks pretty friggin' awesome. If you're a P6 or a 225 enthusiast, uh, everyone's buying them. We already had about eight of them. They're gone. I think there's one left. And you'll see the price on that way cheaper than anyone else has it. Now, I'm not comparing us to internet because you can't do that. It, that's not fair. But the thing that kills me about the internet is, say, say you get a gun from Buds, by the time you pay the shipping and the time you pay with the transfer fee for whatever gun range you're sending it to, you might be saving 20 bucks. Wouldn't you rather support your local business for 20 bucks? I mean, I could see if you're saving like 70 bucks or 100 bucks. I understand that. But if you're going to be saving like 15, 20 dollars, why wouldn't you support your local shop and just go get it there? You know? I don't understand that. I would. I don't. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather do that than wait. And you ain't got to wait. Bam. You're, you're in. You're out. You pay 20 more dollars. You got your gun now. I don't know. That's me. Maybe not everyone's like that. Hell, I, I don't get it. Uh, pit bull farts are the worst farts of all dog man has ever uh, experienced with human beings. Okay? They should put pit bull farts inside um, mace bottles. I bet you it would do a hundred times more damage. It would, it would, it would. Nasty son of a bitches. They're lucky I love them two dogs. Or they would be gone. Damn. If a shit took a shit, that's how bad their farts smell. Okay. And at the end of the video, I'm going to announce the next light winner. Real nice little pocket light from Through Night. You ever notice any, any girl named Holly is like a, like a goddess from the universe? I mean, what is it with that name? 
every Holly I know is a, like a really good looking woman. You guys notice that? Is it me or what? Then you have any woman named Blanche that I've ever met. Looks like Danny DeVito with tits. All right, guys. Uh, here we are at Double Action. Bill knows what that means. Uh, we got some Kimbers here. It's, you know, the typical ones we usually have. Typical, you know, Kimbers. There's the solo. <clears throat> uh, there is the Kimbo. Kimber micro. You know what? It's not even 11.30 and the phone's ringing and people still don't know what time we open and close. It's unbelievable. We open at 12 o'clock on Sunday. 12 o'clock. We open at 10 o'clock on Saturday. 10 to 8. 12 to 6 on Sunday. So, you know, they'll just keep ringing the phone because I don't know. Anyway, there's a Texas edition Kimber. It says come and get it. Uh, it's a beautiful 1911, and that's really nice. And 1495. There's a lot of scrolling on that gun, so trust me. If it's 1495 here, I'm telling you, it's 1600 anywhere else, guaranteed. There is the Kimber uh, Royal 2. That is a really high-end uh, finish on there, and it has. I don't know if those grips are real ivory. I don't think they are, because I don't think it's legal. And um, but they might be simulated, but they are really high quality simulated ivory grips, that's for sure. They look real. Woo. And uh, that's a $1,750 1911 there. That's a special, special edition right there. Okay, I just want to show you what we got now. Let's get realistic here. We got the Springfield XDS 45 for 500 bucks. There you go. We have a Springfield XDS 9mm for 460 we have a Beretta 92A1 9mm made in Italy for 685. That's an Italy gun. That's not a USA gun. Alright, we've got a Ruger SR 1911 with night sights. It's the black version. And for 839, we have the Sig Sauer Nightmare, which you guys know. It's a nice gun, great trigger for 995. And there's your traditional classic Colt 1911 government model. Beautiful uh, Colts bluing uh, for 920. There's a black Kimber Raptor. That thing's sharp for 1150. There is a uh, Walther PPQ. Really, really popular gun for 610. As you guys know, probably the best trigger in the polymer gun category, hands down. Um, the only problem I had with it was. Because of my grip, I was dropping the mag out. Doesn't mean that'll happen to anybody else. There's thousands of people that own them, and they don't. They, they do not have that problem. So that's something I'm doing. There's a beautiful Colt uh, revolver, a 357 Magnum. Uh, it's got the hard case blowing and a case case color hardening, all that stuff. And it's a Colt, man. So they're really high quality. Uh, all you gotta do is cock the hammer, and you can feel it. 1379 for that. Okay. And there's the typical ones we have down here, Sig Sours. Got a couple used guns back there, Sig P220s for 625. Uh, I think they're police turnings. Sorry, the camera was off. There's a P320 with the long slide. And where where's the where's the one? There it is. There's the new the new P225 right there. For eight eight ninety-five. The new two two five. For eight ninety five. There's a purple all C nine. Uh, there's some uh, Sig Sauer P two two six extreme back there for eight ninety nine. There's a two two nine with the legacy slide, eight ninety five law enforcement gun, brand new. There's a, a Sig Sauer P three twenty compact for five ninety five. Of course, we got the LC 380s, LC 9s, 389. They have the new triggers on them. There's my phone. There is the new Ruger LC 9S Pro. It has the laser. It doesn't have the stupid, uh, you know, all those goofy safeties on it and all. It's kind of more of a more of experienced gun person gun. It's got the laser and all that. And here's the LCPs I was telling you about. 
Got some wild looking ones. 249 what? Yep, 249. Here's two more LCPs. They're like a bronze and black. 249. I mean I'm tempted just to get one just for that price. Just just have something extra. I don't know. Sometimes I get lazy. I'm like, ah, I don't feel like carrying a gun. It pulls my pants down. You throw it out in your pocket. There's your bodyguards. 380s. And by the way, if you're not familiar with the LCP, it is a 380. Finally got a ton of revolvers. Everyone's been asking for them. There's the SP-101. There's another version of the Wally Clap. SP-101. All right, Smith & Wesson air weights. Then we have the uh, Charter Arms. There's the one with the American flag. Uh, okay. There's a pink one. Of course, Glocks. Glocks up the ass. We always have tons of them. Tons of them. Here's some Glock 43s. That one right there, for 515, any any Glock that's more than 479, it means it has a, a it's special edition or it's a colored gun. You can't tell by looking at it, but it's called uh, it's called Magnet Gray. It's a beautiful color gray. It's black and it has like a bluish to it, and that's 515. So that's a custom one. There's another one with a bronze one. That's a custom one. And yeah, I don't get that, but there's another custom one. So the custom ones are 515, and your regular Glock 43 will be 479, which we are out of. I don't see we have one. Glock 27 in the back, Glock 22, Gen 3, Gen 3, both of them. Okay? And we have the Glock 17, Gen 4. Is that just and it has the it's the gray, uh, the gray frame. Up here we have the uh, Larry Vickers edition Glocks, the whole top shelf. They're all gray. They're the Larry, Larry Vickers Glocks. They come with all the Larry Vickers parts. As you can see this one down here on the bottom. If you look at the bottom of the... There's an angle for you. The bottom of the magazine has the Larry Vickers uh, floor plate. And it also has the new Larry Vickers back channel insert with the Glock tool. I gotta get that little thing. I don't know if it's if they're available yet singly or you have to get the whole thing to get that. But um, all these Larry Vicker Glocks all come with that. I just put them on there to, to show you what it looks like. So we got a bunch of them. We got 17s, uh, 19s, mostly 17s. Uh, wow, a lot of 17s. These are all 17s. Here's a 19, 19, 19, 19. So 19s and 17s. Down here we got the Glock 42s, a ton of them. Little 380s. Great for carry, a little 380s, and then we have the OD Green Glocks. It's called Battlefield Green, but it looks like OD Green. Glock 26, Glock 27. Uh, there's a Glock 29 SF. That thing's cool. They shoot. That they shoot beautiful. That is a Gen 3. And that's what we got there. What's up, Steve? What's up, Pete? Sorry, you could talk. How we How we doing? We're doing pretty good tonight. All right. And in case you guys. Uh, See the ammo can we got because they're just flying out of here. <laughs> awesome. We got like six left, so awesome Christmas, awesome Christmas gift. This is the ultimate Christmas gift, and we got them right here. Double action, Bluetooth ready, everything. You guys seen this before on my channel, so we have them here at double action, man. Three eighty nine, all handmade by our veterans. What do you want? We got all the XDs, the Mod Twos, Spring. Uh, Smith & Wesson Shields, there's a big ass judge there everybody likes, $395, the Shields are all $410, the uh, XD45 Compact, $539, I mean it's just, you know, M&Ps, awesome guns, there's a two-tone S&W M&P Compact, five and a quarter, there's an HK with a long slide, $1,025, friggin HK. There is an HKP 2000 for eight and a quarter, PPQ 40 cal, and PPQ 45. We got them. We got all the new stuff. Uh, PMR 30. Everyone wants that. And then we have these um, real affordable Smith and Wesson uh, SD9 VEs. They're only 395. They do not have a good trigger, but they're reliable guns. I'm telling you the truth. They're nice and light. It's pretty much a Glock 19. But not quite, you know. 
SR40. There's an upper and lower by SI Defense, very high quality AR upper and lower. We got one left, we had about 10 of them. There's the Keltec PLR16, pretty cool, 223-556. Of course, Ruger SR9s, the Ruger 9E is a real nice buy, it's only 389. It's pretty much an SR9 without the fancy cuts in the slide, that's all it is. There's a unique one there, it's called the RSA 9mm, I'm not too familiar with that, but uh, I did feel the trigger and it's a fantastic trigger. Okay, there is a Ruger 2245 light. It's in blue. Nice little 22 to have fun with. Okay, we got a used Ruger SR 1911. Slightly used for 595. LCRs. Oh, my back. What do I do for you guys, man? I can't stay bent that long. Way too overweight for that shit. Of course, we still have all the Magpul stuff constantly. Magpul stuff, the extended trigger guards, the uh, ASAP uh, three point single point sling hookups, one of my favorites. We got all the talon grips, tons of talon grips. Not too many gun shops carry talon grips. Uh, a little low on P mags right now, but we do have P mags for the AK platform. Tons of magazines for the Kimber Micro, the Kimber Solo, XDSs, the Smith and Wesson. Um, Bodyguard, we have tons of magazines for all that stuff. Ruger LCP, we got extra mags for that, but extended mags. LC9s, we always have mags for LC9s, the extended ones. There is the IFL LED uh, 4N made by EOTech for a shotgun that'll fit a 870 or a Mossberg 500. I don't think it'll fit the M90A1. It might, it might, I'm not sure. Man, I'm running out of breath. Uh, tons of range bags. As you can see, it looks kind of cluttered because we got so much stuff, we have nowhere to put it. But we got range bags from $20 all the way up to about $90, depending on what quality you want. You know, we have the Dragos, we have the, you know, the cheaper ones. Okay, all our cleaning products, same stuff we've always had here. We got the big Otis kit. Covers every single caliber gun that you have. If you have a lot of firearms, uh, this kit is great. You buy it once and you have everything. And uh, it has everything in it. Of course, we always have ballast oil. Uh, we're looking into getting uh, extreme duty gun oil from Lucas. I'd like to see that here. Because to me, as far as oil goes, lubrication, it's the best. Okay. Silicone rags, all the horse snakes. No, we're not open yet. It's only uh, 1135. Yup, it's been that way for 15 years. Believe it or not, we're not open yet. Uh, here we got some mags for the uh, Ruger 1022s. Really good quality mags. And I think that's, oh, I almost forgot the long guns. What am I, nuts? Okay, this is the long guns I want to tell you about. We have that, that Colt. That Colt is still here, the AR 9mm. See it right there? On the first one, it's 12:50. Sorry, guys, this—it's so annoying. They're not going to give up, are they? You're not going to watch this. Hold on. Double action. Okay, I was ready to say, you know, we don't open until 12. Okay. Uh, there is a Ruger 1022 for 2.95. It's—I uh, never seen one like that. It's like gray. There's the KSG in flat dark earth. Look at that. Bam. 875. Um, there's a Diamondback AR. If you can't afford a real high end AR, seems to be okay. It's got forward assist. It's got the dust cover. It's all, it's all aluminum and, and steel. It's not. It's not that uh, micro fiber stuff. Did I say that right? No. What's that stuff? Carbon fiber. Man, I'm. I can't. I don't know the difference between. A microfiber rag, a fiber optic sight, and a carbon fiber AR. I always get them all mixed up, all the time. This is cool. The Caltech Sub 2000 for 495. It's a 40 caliber. That is awesome. That's the Generation Two. That is a nice little handy 
uh, if you're going to the mountains or uh, you can fold it in half throw it in your backpack go you know if you like I said for the mountains and stuff like that it's a good truck gun there's a beautiful uh, V2 from Century Arms you guys know man that's as good as it gets in my my eyes and all the ones I've had it's my favorite and it takes all the traditional AK furniture size so you can do whatever you want with it 795 Okay, we have a Mossberg 590 all tacked out with a heat shield. It has the, uh, the EOTech uh, sensor switch light on it, everything. It's all, it's got the extended uh, loading tube. The thing is ready to rock and roll and have a lot of fun at the range with that. 595. Okay, we got that. There's the little PAP. Got one left for 699. And down there, you've seen them before. They're, they're older. Um, Mini 14s, the wood style. Now, I ain't got time to go through everything because it's getting it's getting late. Uh, now down here, just you know, 1022s. There's a a Mossberg 930 right there. Great semi-auto shotgun. My favorite pump shotgun right there is the Mossberg 590A1. That's the SPX with the bayonet. That thing is friggin' sweet right here. This one. That one right there, mama. Oh man, that might be going to my collection. I have a short one too. Weatherby semi-auto. There's a Remington 1187 shotgun for 875. Yeah, then you got your basic, you know, Mossberg model. You know, the Maverick 88. You know, I used to talk shit on it, but they did step up their game. Now you have dual action bars on the Maverick 88. That's the only thing I didn't like about it. It only had an action bar on one side. Now it has it on both sides. So now I would say, yeah, go for it. 275. Good shotgun for home home defense. It's got some little lever action guns here, 357, 38s. They're Rossies. They're not, you know, Henrys, but they're not junk either. They're they're decent. They're okay. They're 535, 1022, 289. It's got a beautiful stock on it. Pretty much it. And you got them Savages for 239, one 189. They're 22s. Alrighty, and that's it. We also have um, 223 556 cases for 399 for a thousand rounds. If you're local, you want to stop by and grab a case of uh, rifle ammo if you need it. All right. Okay. Before I announce the next winner to the uh, the second TI5 Life from Through Night, uh, I just want to you know before I even say this, before we get into this. Um, before you guys, you new gun people that are just getting into firearms, because I know it's the gun, the gun industry is thriving now, and all these new people are getting into it. You really, really need to take a basic handgun class. You know, I wish Pennsylvania made it mandatory, like some other states. You have to take a, a class and qualify basic fundamentals before you can have before you can have a firearm. That's just common sense, because you know. You see these new gun people, and they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. That's why at, at, at what I like about double action is you're not allowed to shoot in our range unless you're experienced. If you're not experienced, you have to take a safety class. So if you haven't been to our range yet, and I hope you see this video, you have to take a safety class before you shoot a gun at our range. You can purchase one. But if you never handled a gun before, or you, and you're not that experienced, you you, you know you got you got to do the right thing first. So it only helps the gun community by people being responsible with firearms. Okay, because them those left wingers they think we're irresponsible, crazy yahoos. They they have no idea what the gun community is about. Number one thing is responsibility, and and set an example that we are that we are responsible. The Through Night TI-5, as you know, I'm not going to spend too much time on it because we just did a video on it. I just want to compare it to this PFO-1. The PFO-1 is a little bit bigger. A little bigger and um, as far as diameter goes, yeah, it's a smidge bigger in diameter. The Through Night's a lot slimmer, a lot lighter, but here's what's cool about it is it's a lot brighter. So you got a bigger light that has... You can only hit one, two, it, has, it only has, let's see, sorry before I say that, it has one, 
two. Okay, it only has two settings. So the bigger light has two settings, and it's pretty bright. That's as bright as it goes. The through night has one, two, and you see the difference. And it strobes, and it strobes. Three settings, and it strobes, and it's way brighter, and the price is uh, lined up with this one. I'm not sure how much this one is, but the reason why I'm comparing them, they specifically asked me to compare it to this, is because this probably costs more, and this is uh, less, and it has more features and more power. And it's smaller, so it's easier to carry. Super light. This has a lot more weight to it. It's still a convenient light. It's long. But this one will be easier to carry, and it's made, it feels like it's uh, the through night's made a little bit better. It's got a nicer switch on it. So, there's the comparison to these two lights. Uh, the PFO1 Thorfire, Thur Thorfire, I think that's what it's called. And the th through night uh, TI5, which pretty much smokes it in comparison. So, no brainer. Uh, definitely, uh, through night's got this one. Uh, I, I try to be honest. If this was a nicer light, I would say it, you know. But for the money, the, the TI5 definitely got to beat. Um, even the packaging, this didn't come in real nice packaging. Uh, this, you know, it came in a soft cardboard shitty box, like real soft, like almost paper. The through night comes in this nice steel case, and it gives you all the uh, extra O rings and everything in it. So, the winner of this light is going to be Ryan G. Ryan G is a subscriber. He watches all the time. Actually, he purchased a couple holsters from me. So, you know, he support me. So, I'm trying to uh, give back to people that support me. And it's my way of giving back, saying thank you. So, Ryan, uh, when I see you again, uh, just, just hand it to you. Local subscriber, awesome. So, I don't have to mail it. Okay. The next giveaway will be the next video, another TI-5, and we're going to compare that to a Streamlight. Alright guys, alright man, I'll talk to you, I hope you liked the gunshot video, and uh, there'll be another one coming real soon, another video on something. See you later.